Well, welcome back to Celebrating Act Two to our annual, not annual, our weekly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, when you get old, you kind of lose track of time. Our weekly review of the Vintage Film Channel. Art and I this week found an old sitcom, 1950 sitcom that we both loved. And we're, of course, we're old enough to remember um, the Stu Irwin show starring uh, Stu Irwin and his actual wife, June Collier Irwin, called Trouble with Father. Yeah, just a couple of notes uh, uh, for all of our uh, adoring fans that uh, love us. And, uh, you know, when they see something a little bit off, they, you know, want to know, is everything okay? I'm wearing uh, headsets today. Uh, not because uh, I want to look a little retro to the uh, podcast blog world, uh, but uh, John and I have uh, had a great series of interviews this morning, and my earpods went dead because they ran out of power. So I'm, uh, I just love to know that we're flexible and, uh, and, uh, and tuned in to all the electronics. Right, sorry. right. And we're able to make this. Including headsets. Yes. So anyway, yep. anyway, that's what this this beauty is all about. But uh, we are here. We are here actually uh, on the Vintage Film Channel, uh, looking at. Uh, I remember uh, watching Trouble with Father, the Stu Irwin show, yep. and I always liked him as character. And so I I really enjoyed uh, uh, our preparation for today's uh, activities. Uh, it, you know, it's a fun show. It was. First of all, it's a typical show from 1950s, family sitcom. Right. Um, Stu Irwin plays, as he did, I think, in almost all the roles he, in his career, played kind of a mild-mannered guy. He was yeah. never the handsome leading man. Um, he was kind of a, a an elevated character actor. Um, in reading his bio, I was taken by a movie, one of his movies, Joe Palooka. He played Joe Palooka in right. Palooka, which was based on a comic strip that I used to read. Right. And um, in that film, uh, let's see, who was it? It was, uh, did I write it down somewhere? Jimmy Durante mm. played Joe Palooka's coach, his uh, mm. his trainer. His trainer. Jimmy Durante. So anyway, needless to say, uh, Stu Irwin had a nice film career through the 20s and 30s, and by the time television came along, like everybody else on radio <laughs> and everybody else who had any kind of name recognition in movies, uh, he got his own television well, a show. A couple of interesting things, though, that in addition to Trouble with Father, uh, during the research, uh, I even have remember seeing him on uh, a, a series that I actually watched probably two or three times all the way through, Perry Mason, and uh, he was on, I remember him being in there. But he was always this mild-mannered killer, you know. He was he was he was the guy who uh, was uh, uh, killed people or was suspected. But he was always the mild-mannered guy, and he yeah. was in four of the episodes. So he, obviously, he was popular enough to bring back. But anyway, yeah. so let's uh, let's uh, come over here and and uh, just uh, see some of the characters. Now, uh, I think this is interesting. This is the opening titles. And they have Stu and June Irwin, but she was also billed as June Collier. That was her professional name as an actress. But she was married to Stu Irwin. And I think when they did this show, they just gave them, they used both their names right. and, as a married couple. Yeah, and they were married uh, for like uh, until uh, his death and then her death of 20 some odd uh, years. So it was a long marriage in, uh, from the 30s to the 50s. And she, yeah. she was interestingly, uh, this may be a name some of you remember. The uh, she was the uh, brother of Bud Collier, who was a uh, a famous TV personality, uh, yep. which I never knew. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah. So anyway, the character Stu plays is uh, Stu Irwin, and he's a high school principal. And uh, it's it goes sometimes it goes between uh, issues at the high school and kids and whatever social issues and family issues. Right, but he's sort, of, he sort of like this hapless guy. So things happen to him that, you know, most people would never get involved in. But but, it, yeah. know, but he always winds up being, you know, it, it works out okay in the end. Like, and I think like that, a Hallmark sure, movie. That was the charm of the, the show is that these are all good people. You know, we all make mistakes and right. things happen to us. And how do you deal with them? 
and there's a lot of fun involved and cute lines. It's a very well done show, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed how well the storytelling holds up. Th these these old sitcoms, some of them are really, really hokey, you know. Right. But some of them could be remade today with the same script, well, just different production values. Yeah. You put it in color, and all of a sudden, right. you've got a new sitcom. Right. Also, by the way, um, uh, this is Joyce uh, Collier, the older daughter, and she's uh, played by an actress named Ann Todd. I don't think she would have had too many other... I mean, she may have had a long career, but she's apparently a distant relative of uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln's wife, Mary Todd. So oh, that's so, interesting. A, a, an interesting background piece. Yeah, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Now, in in a minute or two, we'll see the youngest daughter. Ja the one who, uh, called Jackie in here, Sheila James. Is that her name? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the youngest daughter was played by a re very recognizable actor, actress to you and me, mm. Sheila Cool. Mm. And I don't know if she was going by Sheila Cool she, in she, um, no, Sheila James. the Stu Irwin show. Or Sheila James, yeah, um, but she, now she's a you know preteen in this show. She went on to become uh, a main character, Zo uh, Zelda. Yeah, here she is in in Dobie Gillis, right? The loves of Dobie Gillis, the nerd. And the interesting thing about it is that she really is a nerd. She has a uh, e even though she played in all these roles when she was a kid, uh, she went ahead and she got a uh, undergraduate degree from UCLA. Yeah, and uh, we'll talk about a little bit more interesting things about her in the future. But uh, UCLA, for a variety of reasons, uh, uh, and USC wouldn't accept her in the law school, uh, so she applied to and attended Harvard, where she was an outstanding student. Uh, eventually, came back to California. She was the head of the Women's Bar Association. Very active politically, she was, uh, I think, a state representative at one point. Right. She was on the Santa Monica City Council. And that was after her Dobie Gillis years and her uh, career as an actress. Right. So, um, but interesting, interesting that you would see somebody we knew as Zelda from Dobie Gillis, you would see her as a young child here right. in this series. So uh, uh, in any event, uh, it's, it's a fun series. If, if uh, you grew up in the uh, early 50s, the likelihood yep. is that you've you watched or knew of, uh, it was only on for like four or five seasons, and I think one of the two of the seasons, they were reruns. Uh, because <laughs> yeah. back in the day, they used to do 40 or 50 weeks of tea, of of, oh, of, yeah. of episodes, but uh, I guess it got down to a point where uh, either they couldn't make it or uh, there were scheduling problems, so they just reran an entire year, <laughs> uh, which would never happen uh, today. But again, Today, if they write, if they do thirteen episodes a year, uh, it yeah. would be a lot. So, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, great show, fun to watch, and there's uh, on Vintage Film Channel. There's, I think, I counted four episodes of mm, uh, right. Trouble with Father. Uh, they're all fun. They're all different, and they're all got the same cast. And the cast includes, interestingly enough, um, a black handyman. Mm -hmm who is uh, brought in as comic relief, I guess, once in a while. Yep. Um, but he has an interesting career, too. What was his name? Uh, Mark? Willie Best. Willie Best. Famous, not maybe not famous in the same way Stu Irwin was, but certainly a very popular actor. Mm -hmm. um, Willie Best had a career equally as long as Stu Irwin's, if not longer, right. and appeared in... Uh, there was, what was the other show that was done at the same studio at the same time? My Little Margie. My Little Margie. He was, I think, it was the elevator operator in that. But he, yeah. he was, he was, he was, he was very well liked by Hal Roach, who was involved yeah. in a lot of these uh, sitcoms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so, it, but also he played. He was the the big difference here as to some other as opposed to some other shows is that he was treated with respect. He was a black actor, and back in the day, they often were were, were portrayed as. Uh, uh, either dumb or or second rate or so, but he was always treated with respect. And this is this is a guy who, early in his movie career, played Step and Fetch It. So I mean, uh, uh, how that? Well, I don't know that he played Step and Fetch It. I think it was uh, compared to Step and uh, Fetch It. Okay. Uh, well, at, at any rate, uh, yeah. you're you're right. And 
the the history of black actors in entertainment is a whole other right. uh, discussion. But this show treated him with respect, and he was a he was a handyman. He was right. an entrepreneur kind of guy. Mm. And um, but I found it fascinating that because my little Margie was shot at the same studio pretty much at the same time. There's Willie Best coming yeah. into the show. Um, he could he could go from doing a show for Stu Irwin, walk across the lot to a different studio and do an appearance on My Little Margie. Mm -hmm. And good for him. Good for him. Um, anyway, great show. Worth worth time watching. There's only four episodes of these on uh, Vintage Film Channel, but worth searching for. I think you'll enjoy them. And it's a good, you know, a good moment in history. Right. Uh, to look back at the 1950s, early 1950s, and see how families were portrayed. Right. Uh, so, again, if you're a certain age, Vintage Film Channel is for you. It is for us. We enjoy it. Every week we find something new and interesting that uh, uh, reminds us of our uh, youth. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a fun time. See you next week. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.